A four-year-old girl returning from school lost her dear life due to the dilapidated nature of this bridge. And residents are warning more people could die if this is not fixed. This bridge, constructed mainly with metal plates as the bed, has become rusty and is now riddled with holes in many parts. Users have had to navigate cautiously. Constructed close to 30 years ago, this bridge is overdue for a major innovation but has not happened. Assemblyman for the Atiteti Electoral Area, Rafael Kwejo Agbenavo says the bridge is now a death trap. Very, very terrible. It's not just bad, it's a death trap. So we decided to do our own thing as a community. So we bought some chipping sand for the project. But lo and behold, the railway came in and said that we shouldn't touch the bridge. They came to change some plates at the cost of the MP, because MP have to pay 4,000 for them to convey 20 of these plates from Kokratumi to come and repair the severe damage ones. And recently, three weeks ago, a young girl returning from a school have to fall on this bridge because he's, she's trying to dodge these big holes on the bridge. So at the process, he fall through this side of the bridge and fall into this water. And that's the end of the, the small girl returning from school. What crime have this young girl committed? If duty bearers could have allowed us to do our concrete overlay, could have come to this situation. Other users, particularly motor riders, which is the main source of transportation in the area, are worried if this is not fixed immediately, more people could lose their lives. Uh, the this thing there is what? No good. We, it make way people they for the this thing inside the, the down. So you know good, you know good for you for the do so, this. So when you're on it, you are afraid that maybe you yourself you could fall in or your Yama, yeah, yama, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am afraid. So I go for the inside. Sometimes when you are working on it, uh, it seems you will be feeling as if you fall inside. So we, our hope is that you should come and redo it for us because this thing can cause harm to us. Yeah, so. If they could try and do something about it to us, uh, we would like it. Yeah, because sometimes if you don't take time, uh, you can fall inside. Even when you are on moto, you are scared because of the way this place are harmful to us. Yeah. MP for Anglo constituency, Richard Kwame Sefe, who sponsored a partial renovation a few years ago, is frustrated that despite the community's effort to fix this, some state authorities are hampering these efforts. The Personally, I think I have done my part as the leader for that matter, the people's representative of the area. I have written to the Minister of Highways, and uh, you've, uh, I, we, 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 we went very far to the extent that uh, some of the platings that you see here replaced were paid by my good self. And we were about to replicate something that happened around uh, Galosota. The same situation, after the people, the, the, the contractors are, uh, are about to leave, uh, they replaced the, the, the metals with the concrete. And uh, it made the, the, the job very solid. But whatever it is, we have to prevent human uh, life loss. So we are on it, and I pray if uh, government could intervene because this is nothing. Uh, we, we, they will, we only need uh, proper al aluminium uh, to be laid on this. This community is reeling under the death of a four year old girl who tried to navigate these challenges on this bridge. She fell to her death. The MC, the district assembly, the MP, the assemblymen, they are asking for help from government to be able to fix this. But they themselves are trying to do something on their own. Just behind me, we have chippings of stones and sand ready to lay some concrete on this bridge to fix it. But they had faced some challenges with government asking them to go through some formal procedures and frustrating the process in the long run. They cannot wait any longer. They want to prevent more deaths from happening. Reporting from the Volta region, Kweku Asante, Joy News.